It's morning in the tiny farm village of Sichi. The adults of the village have already been hard at work for hours. A group of Methodist mission workers from West Virginia is just getting down to work. And the children of the village are doing what children do best, playing and satisfying their curiosity. The children are um, most curious, I have to say. And um, even though they don't speak our language, they seem to know that we are here for a purpose, and that is to help. It took a day or two for the adults of the village to warm up to their visitors from West Virginia, but not the children. You see, they grew up in a different era, an era free of communist rule and full of hope for a better life. The kids, uh, they don't seem to have any uh, fear of us, or uh, they have some curiousness about us, I'm sure, but I think they've heard that from their parents, you know, that we're Americans down there in that house, and, and they come around, and I think because we're friendly with them and just treat them like we treat each other, that uh, they sort of break the ice for their parents, maybe. Hello. 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 Some of them have learned to say hello and goodbye. And, and I think that's so neat. You can take one of these children and then there be, you can't even talk to them, but you can uh, just pick them up and touch them and hold them and, and it changes their whole aspect on life. You don't see any video games or rollerblades here, but these children don't seem to be missing anything. They enjoy simple pleasures like climbing, petting a dog, even hugging a cow. <laughs> <laughs> they don't have the toys and things that ours have at home, and they make their own. They make their own fun, and this is nice to see. That's not to say these kids don't like the same things American kids like. Things like candy, bubble gum, and soap bubbles. I passed the candy out to them, and they really liked it. We had bubbles and uh, West Virginia bags and just all kinds of stuff to get to, and they. They seen that they really, really liked it. That was one of the best things that's happened so far, just seeing the kids and relating to them. That was wonderful. I've worked with kids for a long time, and it's it, when you're with children, you can, um, the noises they make are the same, the expressions they have on the face are the same, and you can understand them much better. They were very, uh, they were kids, just like our kids. Children, though, aren't the only common thread running between these people of such vastly different backgrounds. They share a common landscape as well. Much of what Americans see of Russia, they see on television, often dull, drab images, either gray or colorless. But that's far from the true Russia, a land of incredible beauty and a land that looks a lot like home. As you look around at the, uh, the environment, it's easy to see that, that God uses a broad brush in, in painting uh, the countryside because much of this is like uh, much of the countryside in West Virginia. It reminds me of the Shenandoah Valley coming out of White Sulphur Springs down into the Virginia with the rolling hills and everything. I think it's a lot like West Virginia. It isn't what I expected. I expected it to be much more rugged. But yeah, I think it's a lot like West Virginia. It's just like home in, in my county because I'm from Greenbar County and uh, the central part of Greenbar County just looks like this. It's just rolling hills and uh, it's just like your home except you can't see this far at home. It really reminds me of home. It's, uh, this could be any place in West Virginia, maybe a little more Pennsylvania than West Virginia. And even the villages and the style of life here is very similar to very, very rural West Virginia in some pockets of, of places. I, I felt like I had stepped back in time probably 50 years. Probably all the equipment you see, the, the, the cars, the, the tractors, the... Uh, uh, farm machinery of all, it, it, it looks like it's 30, 40 years old at least. In many ways, time has stood still in this remote part of Russia. But that's just fine to the people who live here. After all, there's a real peace to this countryside. And this country hasn't seen much peace. When we come back, turnabout is fair play. A work team from Siberia comes to West Virginia to build homes.